In this video we'll paint a GCPS Marine using contrast and shade paints. Start with a Wraithbone undercoat. The first colour we'll add to the model is a generous coat of black Templar on all cloth areas like the trousers and arms. The whole model will be painted using a good quality size 4 brush, this one from Artmaster. Black Templar is a strong contrast paint so keep some Wraithbone handy if you need to fix some areas in between steps. For any skin areas, apply Gillum and Flesh. This can be multi-layered or shaded later with Agrax Earthshade to achieve any skin tone. The armour is painted using Militarum Green. Paint a generous layer here, moving the paint around with your brush to achieve some natural shading. Also paint any areas we'll later be painting with snakebite leather, such as ammo packs and shoes. With the military and green dry, we can add the previously mentioned snakebite leather over any ammo packs, bags and the shoes. Having the green layer underneath helps to give a more unified look to the colours on this model. Next, paint any straps in Saigor Brown, being careful not to hit any of the surrounding cloth areas. Take your time with this step, as Saigor Brown is a very strong contrast paint. Questing Night Games is the UK's leading specialist in Kings of War. A true mom and pop local game store, you can find everything you need to play Kings of War, including army deals, movement trays and hobby essentials. Travel easily from anywhere in the Midlands, UK, and enjoy free parking right outside the store. The Laser Shack produces MDF movement tray kits for every unit type in games like Kings of War. The tray kits come complete with footprint, base and edge to cater for every multi-basing need. For the gun, we'll start by painting the energy cores with Blood Angels Red. 
Don't worry about being neat here as the red will be covered in the next step. Paint the whole gun with lead belcher, making sure to cover any red overspill. Finally, the gun is finished with a shade of basilicanum grey. The contrast paint dries with an oily finish ideal for use on metals and weapons. The final step is an optional application of Agrax Earthshade, providing a darker, dirtier look to the armour and cloth areas.